Well, I'm a droner now. I've never flown a drone before. Um, well, not successfully anyway, and not for any length of time. I flew a friend's drone for about five seconds and about six inches off the ground. So this thing was only 50 bucks at Costco. So if I crash it, scratch that. When I crash it, I can just return it, get the money back. So I'm not really that concerned about it, but at the same time, it's kind of cool and I don't want to fuck it up. Now, with it being a $50 drone, I'm not expecting much out of it, but I'm still excited just to see what happens. I'm not so excited for the impending injury that I know I'm going to suffer. Just trust me on that, it's something I do. Either way, I'll let you know how it goes and I'll let you know how long I was able to fly until it crashed. Be sure to put your bets in now. Mine's at three minutes, three minutes. All right, so day one with this drone and I haven't even flown it and I'm already kind of getting a little First off, it takes two hours to charge the battery, and the battery only lasts 15 minutes from what the book says. So let's see how long it actually lasts. Regardless of that, I'm sure my first flight time is gonna be way less than that. It reminds me of almost the Tyco days where you had to like charge your battery for eight hours just to use your RC car for five minutes. So those guys with gray in their beards, you know what I'm talking about. But I'm about to fly it for the first time right now, and we're gonna see how that goes. That right there is more success flying a drone than I've ever had in my entire life. Okay, so it's not, it's not horrible. It's just not 